All right, so I have Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 first preview for, I think it's from IGN. Let's go to the It's about to kick off in the center of Kutenberg, the sprawling uh, medieval city the IGN. the heart of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. I challenge you to a duel mit Langschwertern. Menhard, the swordmaster, has offered Excuse me? protagonist Henry of Scalitz a few tricks with the blade, but the lesson's okay. been interrupted by Kutenberg's official fencing guild. They won't let Menhard teach so much as a pommel strike, despite him having a charter from King Wenceslas to do just that. Moreover, they're going to fine the old Fechtmeister for breaching their rules. Okay. Things are getting heated, with the chance of a real sword <laughs> fight breaking out growing by the second. But Henry okay, has an let's idea. duke it out. Menhard wasn't teaching me anything, he blurts out. We were dueling because I insulted his honor. Reacting quickly, I decide to have Henry say that he slept with Menhard's daughter. I don't know whether Menhard has a daughter, but it seems like the sort of thing medieval people would get into a duel over, so I roll with it. It works. The guildmaster buys my bald-faced lie and waves the fine, though Menhard is still prohibited from teaching longsword in the city. With a fight avoided, I turn to Menhard, expecting him to be grateful. Instead, he's furious. Oh yeah, let's go. It seems Menhard you did really what with my does who? have a let's daughter, go. and the very idea of Henry sleeping with her has genuinely insulted his honor. Oops. Oh, oh, with their oh, relationship oh, 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 he's on smoke. Look Henry at him. He must desperately placate the raging swordmaster before they can focus on more important matters. I don't see a smile like in plotting sight. how to get back at Kutenberg's fencing guild. I don't see a Kingdom smile in sight. Two is shaping up to be an even bigger RPG than the original, a 100 plus hour epic featuring massive battles, Wait, 100 plus hour in landscapes, and a fully simulated medieval metropolis. But at Warhorse Studios' preview event hosted in the real life Shout out to uh, Warhorse uh, uh, Studio, sorry. Name for Cooper, Warhorse. It was this throwaway detail that stuck with me the most. Warhorse claims every choice the player makes in its RPG will feel like it matters, and this dramatic response to a decision I barely thought Wait, about every was choice? the first, but not the last, indicator that KCD2 could well deliver on this promise. Wait, wait, every choice would matter? Really? I didn't even know that. Let's go. I'm making the most evil choices. You guys know me. I'm a menace. It'll be several hours before KCD2 opens up to you in this way, however. Warhorse provided access to two separate chunks of the game, the first okay. of which took place right at the beginning. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 opens in Medias Res with an explosive castle siege where you defend the ramparts with crossbow and longsword. Warhorse says KCD2 bro, imagine being alive in these times, bro. Especially larger battles than the previous game, and this initial sequence was an impressive taster of playing at a larger scale. From booting down siege ladders from the castle wall to firing crossbow bolts into a crush of enemy soldiers as they come barreling through the gate. Uh-oh. Following this exciting opening, KCD2 rewinds to connect with the end of the first game as we rejoin Henry and his friend and liege uh -oh. lord, Sir Hans Capone, on a mission to deliver a letter to neighboring Lord Otto von Burgo. This initial hour is strictly linear and heavy on cutscenes, but it keeps you engaged through the feel-good vibes of Henry and Hans's friendship. Feel good, huh? Get ready for a fight. Yeah, yeah. Easy, Henry. Like the first kingdom. Nah, don't take it easy. Be on guard. In a very humanistic style. Henry remains a deeply affable, fish-out-of-water protagonist, while his position as Sir Hans's squire leads to an interesting blend of camaraderie and... Bro, is that a dog at the, the, at the right? Together, the pair have big lads-on-tour energy, clearly reveling in the rare freedom their position and assignment affords them in medieval society. It isn't all fun and games, however. An encounter with a retinue of Burgos knights emphasizes the danger that lurks around every corner, as the two have to convince the armed horsemen that they aren't bandits. Can you not distinguish between a noble and a bandit, sir? It's not always that straightforward these days. It's the first of many Bro, elaborate could you, dialogue like, not bring more people? with like... numerous player choices and a lot of exposition. Indeed, while KCD's conversations are generally interesting, I did wonder if they might benefit from some sterner editing at times. Uh-oh. KCD2 Ooh. is built to be played with no foreknowledge of the original. As such, 
The opening hours fold in several refresher tutorials, such as Henry and Hans having a friendly duel that reintroduces you to KCD's friendly? unique sword fighting system. Friendly duel? Okay. This has been refined oh my goodness, for the okay. Sequel, reducing the number of That's directions one insult. you can swing your sword from five to four, and making actions like parrying and reposting easier to pull off. The fighting looks While like, it looks fun, I can't lie to you. I, played the first game, I was nonetheless able to hold my own against Sir Hans after a few minutes of instruction, suggesting that Warhorse's changes have indeed made the system easier to grapple with. The sequel okay. also introduces bespoke fighting systems for certain non-sword weapons like maces, letting players who don't fancy mastering the blade to adopt the simpler approach of cracking skulls. Oh, the introduction culminates with the gun? Henry and Hans taking a bath in the river, followed by a goofy scene where they sneak through the reeds along the riverbank, drawn by the sound of peasant women singing nearby. The scene quickly takes a darker turn, however, as the pair's camp is attacked by bandits, whereupon they're forced to flee into the woods wearing nothing but their pants. It's a what? sequence that shifts between dramatic and comedic multiple times, and the game handles those tonal changes well. Through a series of we got tricked by events, girl voices. Henry and Hans end up in the care of a local peasant woman, where we get a chance to see the quieter side of KCD2. Okay. One of the original strengths was how it strived to immerse players in moment-to-moment -moment play, and KCD2 seems just as indulgent in this regard. Simple actions like eating stew from a pot and picking herbs to make potions are depicted with intensely detailed first-person animations, while the bohemian forests you explore are verdant and alive with birdsong. Those There's birds do sound nice. There's a experiment with the updated alchemy system, which is even more tactile and involved than the first game, with you sprinkling ingredients into a big cauldron before adjusting its height with a lever to change the heat level. Later, when Henry has to fight and kill a couple of bandits who come looking for him, an optional objective unlocks to bury the bodies away from the peasant woman's home, and you can go through the entire process of putting these wayward souls to rest. Oh no, you, you, you guys know me. Or talk to cold steel. Everything in this initial demo suggests KCD2 will retain the original's capacity for letting players steep in its medieval setting. What it didn't show was anything wildly new. For this, the second demo was more promising. This fast forwarded the campaign oh, I think to the 50 hour mark where Henry arrives in Kutenberg. This medieval metropolis. Yeah, I saw is the I, I saw like a, uh, like the differences and stuff like that. Dang, yet. bro, back up. A bustling environment where every NPC has their own daily routines and behaviors. It's here where Henry encounters the Swordmaster Menhard and becomes embroiled in the dispute over who has the rights to teach Longsword in the city. To settle the disagreement, Menhard hatches a plan and asks Henry to steal the Fencing Guild's official sword and hang it on the wall of the Rot House, the Town Hall. This, Menhard explains, is the formal way of issuing a challenge of arms to the town, a challenge which Menhard could then accept to prove his martial superiority. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not accepting course, no challenge. Just give it to me. Give me what I want. Hall filled with master swordsmen, which Menhard wisely suggests you do at night, though you are free to try it in the daytime if you wish. Yet even in darkness, clandestine activities are a risky business in Kutenberg. Anyone walking around at night is expected to carry a torch, and not doing so will get you in trouble with the guards. Oh, I forgot they didn't have lights this time. The city like, uh, lights at this time. I forgot. Over the wall of the guild I, thought they, I thought they had, like... The lock on one of several potential entrances, find the sword, and Bro, escape. I forgot. Here, the open-ended nature of KCD2 becomes uh, bro, I much forgot. more apparent. With the quest feeling closer in spirit to a game like Dishonored than the more That's direct crazy. sequences of the early game. The first time I attempt the theft, things go south quickly. Oh, we can steal I stuff? the lock, but attract the attention of my one forte. of the night watchmen who relocks the door after searching for me. You can't be here. I pick the lock again and proceed three steps into the building before I'm rumbled. I try to um. fight my way out with fisticuffs, managing to knock out one of the night watchmen, but another has roused the town guard who come barreling in with oh, swords drawn no. to quickly uh -oh. cut me down. In my oh, second attempt, no. I'm more careful and succeed in lifting the sword unnoticed and hanging it on the wall of the rot house. This would be a natural endpoint for the quest, but it proves to be far from over. Succeeding in the theft leads to a multi-stage longsword tournament between Menhard and the Swordmasters Guild, 
and you can choose to be sworn in under Menhard's stewardship and fight for his honor and right to teach Longsword in the city. Moreover, the quest can alter in multiple ways depending on your actions, both in narrative choices and general play. If okay. you steal the sword but are spotted doing so, for example, the guild will accuse you of the theft when Menhard accepts their challenge. Consequently, the Swordmaster's oh. guild is given heavier armor during the tournament, making the fight more difficult on your end. This That's elaborate structure fair. isn't entirely surprising. Quest design was one of the first game's strengths, too. Nonetheless, it certainly feels like the sequel is operating at a higher level amid the busy streets of Kutenberg. And if Menhard's quest is reflective of the sequel's 100 oh, can I have some cool aid? total, okay. then Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 could end up being something rather special indeed. I'd be a fool to say no to that. My thoughts exactly, <laughs> good man. For more on Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, don't oh, miss the man. announcement trailer and the Saints and Sinners trailer. And for everything else in the world of video games, stick uh -oh. with IGN. Shout out to IGN, man. man. Shout out to IGN, man, for this uh, preview slash review. I mean, it's not really a review because, like, the game didn't come out yet. But uh, shout out to IGN for this preview for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm so glad, I, you know, I got into, like, the whole Kingdom Come Deliverance. Like, like, like uh, I'm so glad, like, I stepped into that world. Like, it's so crazy because, like, bro, like, I'm legit stepping into, like, different worlds of, like, games and stuff like that. And I'm gonna be honest with you, like I never really thought I would ever like you know uh, play these like type of games or whatever, but like I I'm I'm just gonna keep it honest with you. I'm glad I'm doing it. Like like um, for example like Warhammer Kingdom Come Deliverance, uh, what other games am I am I interested in now? Uh, like bro, like even like some like I, I wouldn't call Silent Hill a scary game, but even, bro like Silent Hill, um, a lot of the new games that are coming out like Black Myth uh, Wukong, uh, what's another game that came out? Um uh, um 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 um. I was about to say Suicide Squad, but I was already interested in, like, uh, Suicide Squad and stuff like that. Or, or like, the Batman series. So, I was already interested in that. But, like, you get what I'm saying. I was very interested in, like, all these uh, in all these gaming titles and stuff like that. So, to be honest with you, man, I'm really excited to, you know, just to see where the game uh, goes. I think the game comes out in February, which is my birth month. So, um, I'm definitely excited about that. So, you guys like to some out. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video. And...